Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode Suji here as a usual so in the next episode in the previous episode sorry I said that what we will be doing in this one we will be trying to access cave horrors getting ourselves black mask and getting at least 70 mining at metal load mine so then we can move on with our further plans so I already had like 65 mining and I'm really close to 66 I did double check and I need like five quests to access the cave horrors which obviously in the end you need to complete cabin fever for cabin fever however i need to get 50 smithing and for some other quest i need to get 40 farming so uh, these are the do two more harder skills i guess i should say that i need to get so i can uh, complete those quests but other than that let's continue mining for that and i will be back with the first update guys where we will be getting 70 mining okay guys and there we go we are finally over with the mining grind we are coming in with level 70 mining we can obviously now mine adamantite which we will be getting from this place while we mine Let's continue uh, continue mining for now because I have a few things that I need to say obviously but uh, yeah in the meantime actually one level before I did pass 1.2k overall as well but I figured I will just wait until I actually am going to record the 70 mining so I can include that as well so also nuggets wise I am really really close to 300 nuggets in total right now because I already made two purchases because I did buy myself the gem bag and the coal bag which I have in the bank as well this one right here I am using while mining at Motherload Mine because actually if you only bring 26 payloads each you can do uh, 4 runs instead of 3. I don't know how it works, it just is like that so that's definitely good, better for me because I can AFK a little bit longer and Coal Bag is obviously going to be extremely helpful at the Blast Furnace where we will be using every single ore that we got from this place. Okay, so what I will do be doing now that we are done with mining, at least for now, I will most likely be going to do the quests required for the black, uh, for the cave cor uh, horrors. I, I think I, in total, I checked I need to do like five quests, including the cabin fever one. I did mention before that I need to get a few skills up so I can do them all. So that will be definitely easy for me because those skills aren't too high. But what am I trying? to show off right now is the total ores that I have collected 3.4 million worth of this tab which is obviously coming from the ores 1.2 million from coal alone but yeah we have 5.6k coal 1.7k gold ores and 1.6k smith uh, mithril lords which will all be made into bars at blast furnace and will give us a healthy amount of smithing xp obviously but uh yeah other than that as i said i will be moving with the quests but what i did today as well actually because today is the update day for old school so what i did is after the update i instantly when i logged in i went to charter boats and i finished buying myself the supplies for crafting that i need to get myself 62 crafting i literally have all the supplies i need and i will make these into soda ash and then these into molten glass and eventually I when I will make these into on power doors I will have 62 crafting and yes I know I only need 61 for Lunar's Diplomacy but I did uh, bank 62 so I can actually craft fire battle saddle because uh, after I am done with all the slayer ground what I will do I will try and uh, charge all my f uh, empowered orbs that I have I will have like 4k in total so once I do charge them all and then I will be able you know to make them into fire battle staffs that will be like 8 million pure GP because currently I am extremely struggling with GP so that way I will make some real nice GP but anyway sorry for rambling for so long but I kind of wanted to explain what I will, will be doing next but for now let's go ahead and start knocking out those quests out so we can you know go kill some cave horrors and get ourselves that black mask ah yes and we are coming in with the first level guys 35 fletching coming in what a jump from 27 and yes we can now uh, fletch willow logs obviously so yeah it was 27 before so that was an easy eight total levels but yeah i got this one actually because the first quest in the list is big chumpy bird hunting and 35 fletching was their requirement what why did i think it was 35 or was it the zogger flesh eaters 
Oh yeah, oh it was actually only 30 and it was Zogger Flesh Eaters, okay my mistake, but uh, yeah we, st we needed to get the fletching up anyway, so uh, okay now we have the requirements, so now let's go ahead and do Big Chumpy Bird Hunting and Zogger Flesh Eaters. Okay, so this should be the first one completed, there we go, Big Chumpy Bird Quest done. Uh, yeah, no point saying anything because I don't think we will even be getting any levels, but yeah, uh, Zogra Flesh Eaters next. Okay, and this should be these, uh, yes, I have them here. Uh, okay, so there we go, Zogra Flesh Eaters quest done. One quest point, 2k range, 2k fletching, and 2k herbler. Any levels? 58 range, not bad. So yeah, now what we need to do... Uh, I think it's Rum Deal if I'm correct. Let's quickly double check. Yes, so what we need is to get level 40 farming and then we need to get 50 smithing for the Cabin's Fever. So those are literally the two skill requirements that I don't have right now. Probably gonna use all of the ores that I actually have that I got from other load mine in the at the same time. So I will get my smithing way higher than 50 most likely, but yeah. Uh, I think I have all my trees planted, so I think I can do a quick tree run and I sh this should give me the 40 farming actually. If not, I guess I will quickly do a quest or two which gives farming XP and we will be able to move on. Okay, so this should be another quest completed actually, if we can speak to this guy right here. There we go, 10.5k XP drop, not bad at all. So yeah, 1 quest point, 2k crafting, 3k farming, 1.k woodcutting, 4k fire making and balloon transport system. Unlocked. So yeah, did this one actually because I did my trees run and, I, and it only got me to level 38 farming and I needed like 600 XP to level 39. So this quest gave 4k farming so I thought I will do it. So anyways, let's check. Okay, we only have 39 farming but let's see. 1.4k XP more. So okay, so I can either go ahead and uh, pick my herbs that I have grown up but that won't get me... To a level anyways I am for sure, like that's 100% sure uh, so I guess what I can do is I can go ahead and work on the forgotten uh, tale of drunk drunken dwarf or something because that quest gives like 5 or 7k farming XP for sure and it only requires 17 farming so it will definitely give me the level require required I do remember that for that quest actually you need to grow some crops which grow for like half an hour or something so I think what I will do I'm gonna go ahead and start that quest I will do it up to that point where I need to grow the stuff I will plant it and I will go and work on a uh, smithing grind the with the ores that I have from other load mine okay so apparently there was a small requirement for this quest which was fishing contest so yeah there we go didn't uh, have any problem doing this one obviously so one quest point two k fishing should have done this earlier probably but what the hell anyways now we have all the requirements so let's go ahead and uh, knock out the forgettable tale of drunken dwarf okay so this should be it right right yes there we go the drunken the ta forgettable tale of drunken dwarf completed so yeah two quest points 5k farming fucking beautiful 5k cooking two mature dwarven stout so i guess i'll keep those because they boost two levels in either mining or smithing depends which one you need but let's close this window and lovely wow we only got level 40 i was expecting a bit more okay that's pretty decent 200 xp to 41 but yeah now let's check i think we have all the requirements and lovely beautiful let's go ahead and complete a rum deal now okay so this was pretty easy and if i can't spacebar i think this should be the quest completed so let's see the xp reward lovely two quest points obviously holy crunch as well this is going to be really useful for me because Prayer potions actually have value for me on this Iron Man. So also 7k prayer XP, 7k fishing and 7k farming. That is freaking amazing, honestly. So let's see the levels. 48 prayer, 42 farming, curry trees, lovely. And that's it. Not bad at all. Prayer XP is still at uh, last, uh, you know, three digits being zeros, which is 
freaking nice other than that 42 farming is really nice as well because i'm actually really really struggling with farming in case you guys haven't noticed because i literally don't have any seeds of any sort so i definitely need to do some more slayer and start miscellaneous and whatnot and do some winter tour like as i said previously it's just like i have so many fucking shit to do it and so much uh, so just so much time so anyways now that we did complete a rum deal next in the line is obviously the last quest which is cabin fever so let's double check yes what we need is 50 smithing but as i said we are not going to waste time by only getting 50 so what i will do i will go ahead and use all of the ores that i got from 70 mining at mother load mine that includes gold ores and all the mithril ores that i will be making into mithril bars i guess i'll just make them into bars now and then i will smith them into the dart tips as well later for some more smithing xp but for now let's go ahead and get our smithing up okay guys so we are coming in with the first batch of smithing levels i guess let's wait for the xp drop and there we go 50 smithing beautiful we can now smith mithril as well as have the last requirement we need for cabin fever we can double check since we are here anyway so cabin fever there we go we have all the requirements but i'm not going to rush the quest just now as i said previously we are going to finish off all the ores that i have in my bank i can show you guys still have like 1.1k gold ore which is really nice and then it's 1.7k mithril that i need to make as well which we will make into dart tips later on for some fletching xp and even more stuff but anyways continue going i will continue smithing for now and i will be back with the next batch of levels i guess you know most likely i am doing this wrong but i am already at mithril ore because i just finished my gold bars i guess and if we get xp drop there we go we are coming in with 55 smithing so yeah i don't think i will be getting 60 out on this throw i guess i'm gonna just use up all my mithril that i have and i will see you guys with the reward screen of cabin fever okay so i did finish uh, my the smithing grind i guess it took us to level 57 smithing 13k to level 58 so that's not bad at all uh also i had few afk for a memo for a few moments so i went to fish some among fish got myself two fishing levels already at that place but yeah in the end i did get myself a medium clues which we have in our inventory so let's see what the reward is and complete garbage well at least we will be able to elk those legs okay so this should be it i think right there we go this quest was a lot quicker than i remember it to be but yeah two quest points seven k smithing seven k crafting and seven k agility any levels nope but yeah so there we go guys we are in mostly harmless i don't think we need this one uh so uh yeah we can reclaim it if we need in the uh in the future but anyways let's check if i do have it Ha and i don't have the symbol or whatever so anyways let's go ahead gear up for cave horrors guys and let's start camping camping the shit out of them hopefully the black mask won't take us too long to get but doesn't matter how long it will take because we will fucking get it well don't mind me and my bad out of 10 hunter level because yeah that is 10 hunters so I'm just going a bit off track, don't worry, I will be going to Cave Horror soon enough because what I want to do, I got myself a decent light source which is Bullseye Lantern and when I got it I realized since it's that easy to get I should, to be honest, complete Tears of Gothics because with Tears of Gothics I will be able to do uh, my lowest skill every week, you know, and this way my construction is going to go up a bit so that's why i am training hunter right now because i want to get like at least 20 i don't know so i have few weeks uh, worth of tears of gothics that i can uh, have on construction you know because i honestly need to get at least some construction up so i can start building the hidey holes for the easy uh, and medium clues because i am doing those quite a lot as you guys can see but yeah anyways i will continue hunting for now and i probably will be back with level 20. holy shit not gonna lie this took me quite some time but yeah there we go 20 hunter we can now place two traps at a time that was a nice way to remember how eight is low level hunter but now let's go ahead and knock out tears of gothics Okay, and this should be it, right? 
I have the bow and there we go, one of the hardest quests in the old school runescape in my opinion guys, but yeah, 1k crafting XP and now without any overdo, let's do one game and I will be back guys to see how many construction levels we do get. Okay, I don't know if this is good or bad, but 62 tiers with 130 quest points if I am correct and 861 construction XP, that's pretty... Uh, Bad, I guess, but yeah, we still got four construction levels, so I'm not gonna complain about that, obviously. And you have reached at least level 10 in all skills. Fucking memes, man. But for now, without any overdo, let's go ahead and start killing those cave horrors for that black mask. I think I'm gonna do melee method first and see if I am getting wrecked or not. If it's fine, I'll just continue doing melee. If not, I guess I will just range them because I saw quite a few people actually range them because there are some safe spots. So uh, yeah, anyways, I will be back with, I don't know, no fucking way. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so fucking good. Holy shit. Uh, uh, no way, dude. Oh my god, let me check. I literally just started my second fucking uh, trip because... Oh my god, just fucking... Uh, god, what? I don't have a... F oh, let's just teleport to Canifis, whatever, like... Holy crap, I am so lucky, even on this account, log, and where is it, cave, 71 cave horrors for, for back mask, I will gladly freaking take that, thank you so much Jagex. Okay guys, and there we go for another level, coming in with level 60, oh sorry, 70 fishing, so I wanted to end the episode on this level because it's kind of a nice one. We can now fish Leaping Sturgeon, not bad for the future, I guess. In my bank right now I have like 2.2k raw monkfish already because yeah, I did get 5 levels at this place already. So what I did, uh, in, what I ended up doing after I got the mask, I just went fishing honestly. So uh, yeah, I guess it worked out pretty well. But uh, So uh, in the next episode I will most likely continue upgrading my Slayer Guild because obviously guys I can't just, you know, rush in to slay just because I got black mask if I want to slay properly and you know like uh, I guess efficiently or whatever like I kind of need to get proselyte as well like and a uh, few other things and I said that I want to work on miscellaneous really really badly because I need to freaking get some cash and start miscellaneous so I can uh, get you know herbs for herblore and maple logs for fletching so without me rambling for too long that will be it for this episode 